was the first in her family to graduate from college and was inspired by her teachers to dream bigger. Despite a challenging upbringing, Johanna Hayes rose above her circumstances and after a 12-year teaching career became the 2016 U.S. National Teacher of the Year. Johanna is in Namibia since Monday and has taken time out to join us in studio. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> what does it feel like having become the Teacher of the Year? I haven't stopped long enough to think about it. I've just been all over, so and it's wonderful. All right. Johanna, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your upbringing and just, uh, yeah, talk to us about who you are? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I, I grew up in America with a very large family, and I guess the thing that's important to this narrative is that my family really stressed working hard not really higher education. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was a road that I had to navigate on my own. And I spent a lot of time after school talking with teachers and just being inspired to continue my education and go on. And I eventually became a teacher. How does one become a teacher of the year? Or is it the students that uh, vote who oh. they would like to see as teacher of the year? How, how does it happen? It is quite the rigorous process. <laughs> it goes through so many different channels. It, interview process, mm -hmm. a portfolio, they watch you teach, interview students, parents, community members. It, it lasted for months and it went on and you keep going to the next level and then finally I was announced as the teacher of the year for America. Now during your time here in Namibia uh, you will be uh, uh, speaking on some topics, you'll be addressing uh, this uh, service learning and engaging the community. Can you talk to us about this in detail? Well. For me, that's very important. I think that so much of education is focused on the academic side, mm -hmm. and we really have to spend a lot more time developing character and teaching kids how to volunteer in their communities, teaching parents how to be involved in their child's education, and really partnering with all the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So, so much of who I am and my platform and what I believe in is educating the whole child and not just <clears throat> the textbook knowledge but everything and then teaching them to apply that knowledge back in their own communities. And it's not much different here than it is in the United States. It's that idea of, you know, becoming better members of society. What are your views on the role of a teacher uh, to inspire and uh, transform their learners or, or students? I think there is no beginning or end to the role of a teacher. Our job is to help students realize their potential, help them be their best selves. Much of that happens in the classroom, but so much more of it happens outside of the classroom. Mm -hmm. So I think we just need to be ready to intervene wherever the need is and not just teach them compulsory knowledge. Mm -hmm. Elevating the teaching profession is another topic that, that's close yes. to your heart. Why is that? I think there's such a negative perception of the profession in general and I know in America we're struggling to attract new teachers. Mm -hmm. When you look at the number of people enrolling in teacher preparation programs in universities, it's declining. So I think we just need to do a better job of showing people, the highlighting, illuminating all the positives in the profession, you know, making it more attractive to young people, of creating environments where teachers feel respected and supported, and the profession gets the nobility that it deserves. Do you think perhaps there's a, a disinterest or decline in, in the teaching profession, uh, maybe because the technology is growing? Well, I think even with technology, you still need, you, it's required that you have, you know, a person that can kind of help students navigate and figure things out. I just think that young people, they look at other careers that just mm -hmm. seem so much more attractive, <laughs> you know, so much more impressive and they really don't fully understand how impactful a career in teaching can be. You know, when I know in America students talk about the salaries or the long work hours or the accountability measures, but they really don't ever talk about all those intangibles that come along with teaching, you mm -hmm. know, the power to touch lives and the it's not monetary, but the reward that you get when your students succeed. They really you have to convince them that those are equally as important. Now, you've been in Namibia for a couple of days. What's yes. your impression of the country and also of our education system? 
I have to say I am impressed. I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect when I came here. It is my very first time on the continent, so to be able to come to Africa as a result of the work that I do is absolutely incredible. But I will say that I've talked at universities with different groups of teachers, and the level of commitment to education here is quite impressive. You know, that's not, I tried to do some research on the country before I came and do some reading, and they really don't highlight mm -hmm. that. You don't hear so much about that. But then to come here and talk to teachers and share their stories and see that they share the same passion for this profession, that they want to be better, they want their students to succeed and are willing to do whatever it takes. That commitment does not translate in writing. Right. So to be here and see that is very impressive. I can't wait. I'm taking lots of pictures. I can't wait to go <laughs> back to America to share that because it, I, I'm, it, it's good. <laughs> All right. Well, Diana, congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you taking so time much. out Thank to speak to us. Me. All right. Thank you. That was uh, Johanna Hayes, uh, the teacher who was crowned the 2016 U.S. National Teacher, speaking to us this morning. We'll be back shortly.